Max, stop eating your boogers! I feel like I'm sitting in a quiche Lorraine! Jeez! I find that moderately disgusting. Welcome back to Rayman 3. Now you can catch a glimpse of the thing in the background, this... yes, this one. Uh, it's actually the boss for this stage, it's the boss for the Land of the Livid Dead, as we are in the third and final section. Well, actually, technically, it's... It, technically, there are four sections, but the fourth one is a... Uh, uh, this funky board transition, so it's not really part of the level. And this part of the level is, in my view, very, very... Well, mediocre at the best, as far as gameplay goes, even though it's really pretty. And the reason for that is that this part is on rails. In Rayman 2 you could swim freely everywhere, here you can only swim essentially back and uh, forward and backwards and do a backflip upon hitting either jump button or fire button. Uh, this is the boss for this area and uh, its name is Seloche in French and I won't even bother to pronounce it in English. And it's also quite meh. It's a very short boss fight, but unfortunately it does not feel that way. It gets really monotonous. Partially I'm guessing this is because the boss doesn't really uh, change in any way as you as you fight it. It just gets more and more aggressive as, it, as its health goes down and as a result it's highly, highly monotonous. Even though it takes maybe a minute to beat it at most. And this is one of the shortest boss fights. Still, I said before the very first boss fight that the boss fights in Rayman 3 are amazing. I still stand by these words. But this is one of the one of the two exceptions to this rule to this rule. Yeah, thankfully this will be over soon. I remember, re I remember reading that uh, this thing was inspired by the uh, Martian Tri... Uh, by Martian War Machines. I'm, I think they're called Tripods, but I'm not sure. Uh, from, the, uh, from the War of the Worlds novel, but I don't think I really see the connection apart from it having three legs. I think I could talk about the tactics of this boss fight, but honestly, the game is so easy, with the exception of one fight, that you can take as much damage as you wish, and you will still invariably win. And now we are finally out, and next stop, the portal. Rayman, you're the coolest ever, and you're my bestest friend. And you're my bestest friend! I didn't know it was possible to be so lame! Quit it! The manual says you're my best friend! So he can say it correctly. Now, as always, the funky board section is preceded by you being required to kill a bunch of hoodlums. And as you can see, there's nothing behind me. I don't know why I'm doing this, especially considering that I know where the secret for this area is. So now let's just dispatch of these. Uh, bad people, hoodlum, insects, things.
Okay, now, um, yeah, I completely failed that. You can see on the ceiling these openings. This is one of them, and you have to flick two switches. There's another one on the right. And I completely, completely forget that there's the second one. So you will have to bear with me for a few seconds until I remember about the second switch. I apologize for this. Yeah, at this point I'm thinking that it's a bug, but it's not a bug, I am just being dumb. There, on the right, it's symmetrical. Almost there. There we go. All right. yeah Ah, uh, no, no, no way I'm going back there. Nope, that doctor gives me the creeps. Ah! Raven, wait up! Dude, still in bed? Well, must have been a late night. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> My colleague explained everything. <laughs> well, seems like you swallowed a black lump. Major mm. bummer. <laughs> You see, black lums reproduce like some kind of crazy weed. <laughs> They're really wacky. <laughs> Let's see if we can, uh, you know, hook you up with something to take the pain away, huh? <laughs> How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a sec here. Hmm. can be done. The black lum has like totally lodged himself in your brain, see? And the problem is, I can't find it. But I know a guy who can help you. He's like a specialist in like hollow cavities, and he lives in the desert of the Canarin. Well, gotta go. Need to go water my plants. Okay, now that we are done with this uh, pothead of a doctor, we are in the last, uh, this transitional section, and yes, it's the last one, and I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, because on the one hand, it's something that could easily get very old very fast, and it probably would have if you had this thing between every single level. But on the other hand, uh, this is approximately the point where you actually begin to get somewhat decent at it, or at least the point where I begin to get somewhat decent at it. And I think the game would not have uh, suffered much if there was one other section here, but the more important thing is that it did not outstay its welcome, and it's a really, really damn good decision overall on the behalf of the developers. Now there's a thing about the uh, scoring system in the game, it's the fact that it's intended to be made in such a way that the key thing about getting as many points as possible is not the uh, combos, is not the bugs, but rather uh, collecting all the secrets. However, um, the secrets are only a part of it, and in order to break the game, break the scoring system, which is absolutely possible in every single level, you want to abuse bugs, you have to be creative with your combos, etc, etc. And honestly, I think that uh, the depths of YouTube are capable of doing the job better than I am, especially seeing as scoring here is not particularly interesting. To be honest, I enjoy collecting lumps in uh, Rayman 2 a lot more. Hmm. 
and this is so sad here that I fell down, because this was one of my longest streaks, uh, one of the longest combo streaks I've ever accomplished in these, uh, in these sections. Still, we are getting very close to the end, and the next stop is the Desert of the Knaren, which for many people is the... well is that one level, that one level that just stays ingrained in your memory forever and ever. I know I am one of those people. Collecting all these gems is quite satisfying. But I think I will leave you here, so thank you for joining me, and next time the desert of the Knarr. Goodbye.